By now, your instance state should be running. So once your instance is up and running, you can connect to it and we can start our installation process of Java MySQL. To do that, before we go ahead and connect, give this instance a name so that it's easy for us to remember flight services. Hit the tick mark, only then that name will be saved. Click on this connect button to connect to this machine remotely. Hit on this connect. There are different options here. You can use Amazon's AWS Session Manager. If you select the third option, which is easy to instance connect, in the browser itself, it will open up a shell for you by using the SSH connection. We don't need that. Select the very first option, a standalone SSH client, and it will show you all the options that are available. You can open a SSH client like PuTTY. So if you're on Windows, you need to install PuTTY and just simply follow these steps to connect to this machine. So this is the DNS name of the instance you have created. Those details can be seen right here. So if you select a particular instance like this, this blue mark, once you select it, it will display the details. This is the public DNS using which it can be accessed from your local machine. And this is the IP address. So you can use either of these two, the public DNS or the IP address. Click on connect, select the this example here. You can copy this command if you are on Mac. If you are on Windows, go ahead, use PuTTY to connect by simply following these steps. You can copy the SSH command, go to your command line or a terminal on Mac. Make sure you are in the directory wherever you have the key file that you would have downloaded in the previous lecture for me. The AWS keys.pem is under my documents. So here I simply paste that command ssh hyphen i, the key file name, then the ec2 hyphen user is the default user and the machine name. This is a complete DNS name. So right now here, this command prompt is not from my local machine. It is the remote Linux machines command prompt. So whatever I execute here, pwd, you see that home ec2 user. By default, this is the username for a AWS EC2 instance. Now, if you say sudo hyphen i, that will make you the root user. You will have all the permissions to install the required softwares on this machine. At this point, you can go back to this folder, AWS deployment folder, which you would have downloaded earlier and unzipped. Here, the first two files, the command.txt and flightdb.sql are what we need in this lecture. Open them in your favorite text editor. For me, it is sublime text. In the commands.txt, I have the commands to install Java. Then I also have commands right here to connect to MySQL, to install MySQL, and then start it, connect to it, and whatever commands we want, we can execute it at that point. So the first step is to do a m install java18. If you go check the Java version, there is a default Java that comes here, Java hyphen version. You see it is 1.7. So we at least need Java 1.8. You can install later versions as well. By default, Java 1.8 can be installed. That package is already there on this box. This instance, paste the command m install Java 1.8 hyphen open JDK. Once you hit enter, that will start installing Java 1.8 for us. If it prompts, yeah, save Y. Yes, I do want to install all those packages. There we go. Now we have Java 8. But if you check the Java hyphen version, it still points to 1.7. So to switch that, use this command. Alternatives hyphen hyphen config Java. That will show you all the alternatives that are available. Paste it. Hit enter. It tells you that there are two versions of Java. 1.7, which is uh, the default right now, and 1.8, which you have installed. So here, if you want to keep the current selection, you can uh, type a plus if you want it to be Java 1.7. But I want to change it to 2, which is Java 1.8 here. You can see the version number. So enter number 2, hit enter, and that will switch the default JDK to 1.8 or JRE to 1.8. Now if I say Java hyphen version, you see our new latest Java that you have installed is being used. So we are good with Java. Now go back. Let's install the MySQL server m. Install it super easy. m is the command to install anything. 
m install mysql hyphen server hit enter that will start pulling everything for you save y when it prompts you there we go that's complete super fast this command here is to make mysql d as a service on this box so whenever this box comes up whenever you restart this instance every time it comes back up if you want the mysql server to be automatically started then you should make this check config mysql d on so paste that command hit enter now go back service start it manually for the very first time right click paste it this is how you start a service on a aws amazon linux instance service mysql d start in this case mysql d is the service name start is the option that we are asking it we can stop it we can restart it and so on there we go mysql is up and running you can change the root password by using the following command in my case i want the root password to be test1234 that is what is used inside this application the flight services uses root as the user and then test1234 to connect to that database whatever password you have in the flight services or if you are downloading this jar directly make sure you have the same password test1234 because it expects it to be test1234 but if you have developed if you have uh, developed this project on your own from my end to end java project course then you could have given whatever password you want so copy that command go back to the command prompt paste it there we go now the root password is that connect to mysql mysql hyphen u root hyphen p is the command paste it so the server is running now we are trying to connect to that server hyphen p is the password there you enter the root password test one two three four hit enter and you are on the mysql prompt here you can execute whatever sql commands you want go to the second file flight sql db or flight db dot sql control a control c come back paste it i will explain what that file is paste it let it finish there we go it has done a lot of work for you let me go back to that file now the first line here is to create a database called reservation and then we use that database inside that we are creating a flight table a passenger table and at the end of it a reservation table which refers to both these tables a reservation is made of a flight and a passenger and at the end of it i am also loading some data into the flights table so that we can use the restful endpoint we can hit the restful endpoint later on once this deployment completes and we should see all this data in json format coming back to the web browser when we access the restful web service so in this lecture you have successfully connected to your ec2 instance you have done a lot of work you have connected to this box from your command prompt or putty if you are on uh, windows then uh, you have installed java to start with you have switched it to the right version of java then you have installed mysql server made it a service so that it will start every time you run uh, you relaunch your amazon instance aws instance then you have started it changed the password or set the password to test1234 you have connected to the mysql and then you have executed these sql statements that have set up the database that is required for our java application when this jar is run later on it will look for all these tables in the database